Coverage in Count on begins with an increase in cyber tips helping law enforcement catch people who commit child exploitation crimes. News Channel 6 is Ashley Osborne at the Cyber Center in downtown Augusta with today's Cyber Insider. We've been getting a lot of reports recently about people arrested for child exploitation. You might have noticed it too because usually we turn around and share that information with you here on our newscast. So we wanted to know, does that mean there are more people out there committing these crimes? Or does it mean that the tools that law enforcement officers are using are getting better at catching the bad guys? We came here to the GBI's cyber headquarters for answers. It's a combination of both. You have more people online. Um, the, the internet service providers and the uh, companies that own these apps and websites, they have also gotten more proactive about identifying things relating to child exploitation. The U.S. Department of Justice says since 2010, the number of cyber tips has increased by 555 percent. There are more law enforcement officers and private companies using software trained to look for key words or phrases related to criminal behavior. And a big part of that is photo DNA, which speeds up the identification process with pictures and videos. Beforehand, each picture and video had a hash value. If criminals changed even the tiniest little thing, it changed the hash value also, which meant the altered media could avoid a flag. With the photo DNA, you can change the picture. You can crop it, color, whatever. It's still going to match that picture to the known picture. A known picture or video generates a cyber tip that goes to the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. They gather intel on the, the user, the one that shared the picture, their account, and the cyber tip, they'll send it to, say for instance, GBI. I believe last year we received over 4,800 cyber tips for the state. This kind of tracking helps investigators catch the people behind these heinous crimes. A lot of the material is infant and toddler material. So being able to identify those guys and arrest them and prosecute them, it could be a doctor. I've arrested police officers. You just never know. In Augusta, Ashley Osborne, WJBF News Channel 6.